One is making the chain link system more cost efficient over time, which we've been able to successfully do. There have been, su there have been some updates to the chain link system that have reduced the cost of running nodes and networks by as much as 90%. So those updates have happened and they'll continue to happen and we're continually looking at how to make things more efficient. I also think on the cost side, the efficiency of chains will get better and therefore the cost of chains will go lower and the cost of broadcasting data on chain is really the largest cost in the Chainlink ecosystem. So both the efficiency of the Chainlink network will go up and the cost of putting data on chain will consistently, I think, go down. And both of those should um, effectively address many of the cost uh, questions and reduce those costs. The second aspect is obviously the revenue and the fees coming into the Chainlink system. And I think that is dependent on the security we create. And it's dependent on the value that the system provides in terms of the data it provides, in terms of the cross-chain connectivity it provides, in terms of the proof of reserves information it provides, in terms of the security and provability of the computations. And so the fundamental thesis there is that security is very important when you're controlling, moving, and dealing with value. And so if Chainlink is the most secure way to control value with data, to move value across chains, to keep value updated, to inject various key computations into the value that cannot and should not be manipulated, such as fair sequencing or any number of other key computations with zero knowledge proofs, then um, I think we'll be in a world where the majority of the fees that will pay for security will go into the Chainlink network for all of that data computation and cross-chain activity because in our industry, you really don't want to save money on security, especially not when there's a bunch of people getting hacked all around you and as your system continues to get more value, your willingness to pay for security naturally increases because there's more value at stake in your system. And so on the revenue side, I think the Chainlink system's ability to create security, take the fees and the revenue, put it back into the system, and have those fees and revenue be spent on naturally um, generating more security is a very natural virtuous cycle that will continually allow it to be the most secure method for generating that data, the cross-chain uh, interactions, and the additional computations that are necessary to make the transactions and the contracts secure and reliable. On the final level, we want to find ways to incentivize the best behaviors that create the most security from the largest possible community. And that's where staking and a number of other key features come in. It's the ability to generate more security for the system by incentivizing the right participation from various stakeholders like nodes and stakers and others. And so that's the third part of the system which we're working on, but a big part of that system depends on the, the second part, the fees and the revenue. So I think we're gradually going in this direction. We're continuing to get um, lower and lower costs. We're continuing to see lower and lower costs from the chains themselves. We're continuing to see chains pay significant amounts of value to integrate Chainlink to make sure that the costs are low for Chainlink to operate properly on their chain. We're continuing to see more and more teams uh, paying various types of fees into the Chainlink system and we're gradually working on the staking economics to include more and more people in the system in a secure uh, way that benefits the security of the system so it once again remains the most secure version of data, compute, and cross-chain connectivity possible. Because once again, the thesis is that as the amount of value in your system increases, you will not want to save money on security. You will want to achieve the level of security that keeps your $1 billion, $10 billion, $100 billion, trillion dollars worth of smart contract value properly secured from hacks, um, transaction manipulations, and any number of other problems.